I am here with Kathy Wickerink, right, of Grassroots Dairy, and today we are going to talk about some uh, local dairy products in Salmon Arm. So thanks for uh, thanks for doing this with me, Kathy. Yeah, no problem. I, it's uh, it's a pleasure to to be able to voice our to be a voice in the community. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So um, when did you start Grassroots Dairy? When did that all begin and um, you took it over yeah. partway through? So how did that process go for you? My husband is a, a dairy farmer through and through. He's been milking cows since he's 15 years old. We bought this farm uh, just about 15 years ago now, but the original farm was started by Ari Gort and it was called Gort's Gouda Cheese Farm. He's been making cheese here since um, basically after the first year that he took over this farm. And so we took over a very good cheese farm at that point. And you've got some family in the game as well. So tell me a little bit about that too. So the, one of the reasons we actually were looking for to relocate, we were from the Fraser Valley, uh, was because we had six children. We were looking for opportunity for them to also farm. And where we were, there was no opportunity. They would have had to leave the farm. So this farm gave us that opportunity. And at this point right now, we have five of our six children working full-time for us. Each of them have their own roles to play. So we've got some that are into the farming. Uh, run, our one son runs our second farm and milks of the cows there and manages that whole farm. Our daughter, she actually helps me now with the wholesale. And our son, Mark, he does the um, deliveries. Uh, and then our daughter, Elizabeth, is now learning to milk and taking over the farm here. And our other, our youngest son is actually in the cheese plant, managing the cheese plant area. Yeah, every every little corner of the business, you've got family. So you say that you are Canada's first 100% grass-fed farm, is that right? From the research that we've done, um, yes. I have to clarify, that, has, that markets their products okay. as 100% grass-fed. There may be small farms across the country yeah. that actually are like that, but that don't market. And so what specifically is it about grass-fed that um, gives you maybe a different product? Uh, it's actually the makeup of the fats in the milk. The fats in the milk from grass-fed milk has the conjugated lineolic acid is one of the fats, and that fat is much higher in grass-fed milk, and that's a healthy fat for us, the consumer. Omega-3 and omega-6s are more balanced in grass-fed milk versus grain-fed milk. And you had told me one time, people that maybe can't drink traditional milk have less of a problem with your milk. Why is that? And it has again to do with the, the feeding regime that the cows get. So when we feed 100% grass, then the quality of the milk is 100%. It also has to do with production and the processing of the milk. We do minimal processing, which also keeps the molecules of milk more intact with how nature has made it. That's awesome. So what products do you guys have? Do you process all of your products right here on this farm? Yeah. A good part of our products are bottled milk and it's all whole milk. There's no, we don't separate our milk into 1%, 2%. It's all whole milk. We also make a Greek style yogurt. We call it Bulgarian yogurt, okay. but it's also made with whole milk and quark cheese. Quark cheese is like a German cream cheese used also in medicinal for medicinal purposes and we continue to make a lot of gouda cheese okay and what's your favorite product of all the ones you make <laughs> well i use them all but if it went from the cheeses i like my Mazdamer, which is our swiss style cheese we just started processing goat milk as well oh, so okay. i didn't um, tell you about that yet but we just yeah. a neighbor down the road is farming with very similar practices as we are. Yeah. He does feed his goats a little bit of grain because he can't get the volume if he does. And so we just started bottling milk and making goat milk feta and we will have goat gouda soon. Okay. Uh, where can people find your products? Uh, we sell our products on our farm store, through our farm store. We're open Monday through Saturday, um, basically 10 to 3. But right now in the summer months, it'll be 8.30 to 5.00. Um, and then we sell it in throughout the Okanagan in lots of little grocers and health food stores. And then also we sell in Vancouver in um, some of the specialty um, stores like Choices Market and Whole Foods Markets and some of the smaller grocer chains there as well. Nature's Fair is actually a big um, supporter. If, you ha if you're close to a Nature's Fair, you can find all our products there. Okay, and of course, uh, everything is on your website. Uh, what's your What's your website? Uh, www.grassrootdairies.com. 
Yes, and you can order your cheese. If you're not in the area, you can also order your cheese and we will ship it to you with Canada Post. Perfect. And uh, and the last thing, you guys have farm tours here. So obviously everyone can find the, the address on your website. But what can people expect if they come for a farm tour? Okay. Depending on the season that they come. But we, our barn doors are open to the public. We don't have, um, we aren't restricting people to, um, a lot of people like to walk through, through our calf barn, see the baby calves. Um, in the summertime, we set up a petting zoo just um, outside of the, outside of our production area uh, for people to interact with. We, um, so they can get um, a self-guided tour where they can just walk around the farm at their leisure enjoy the animals and or we can we can book tours we do that with a minimum of 10 people and then we offer cheesecake and um cheese samples for or gelato in the summertime for the con- the consumer as a, and to cover the cost of the guided tours which there there's a cost to that one Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, I took my son on a tour and he loved in the calf shed. He loved to see all the cows and everything. So it's a good time. Um, all right. Thank you so much, Kathy. Is there anything else that you wanted to put out there? No, no I think we're doing good. We're, um, yeah, just, we just, uh, the newest thing is the goat milk and having a goat milk for those who can't have goat, um, cow milk products. Yeah, yeah. Goat milk is also um, now an option here. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much, Kathy. Of course, this is Kathy with that Grassroots Dairy. And uh, yeah. Good luck with the rest of your season. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah.